folks, this is Jerry Jankowski, and this is going to be our next assignment. This is part of a two-part uh, part of our uh, semester assignments. The first one we'll be doing, uh, they're both packaging, and this one is, I'll be doing a label for a wine bottle. Uh, the next one is actually doing a carton, a, a folding uh, paperboard carton, okay, designed for. All right, so let's start with this one. Uh, let's open up a uh, artboard first, okay? So let's get into Adobe Illustrator. Let's open Adobe Illustrator first, all right, and create new. Uh, let's do letter inches. <clears throat> Orientation, let's, uh, let's just keep it portrait. CMYK and uh, 300 PPI, and let's create. And there we go. All right. Now I know the label is four inches across by five inches down, so let's do that right now. Okay, click four by five, and then okay, there it is. Let's put it right in the middle. I have some backgrounds that I have for you on Canvas. You can use any of those if you'd like or you can create your own or don't use one, but I like the using um, the background because I think that it's a lot of color and texture and interest. I think it for a label like this, it's perfect. So let's uh, import it and that would be place. And uh, let's go for, let's look where it is, wine uh, label demo. And I have turquoise polygon, and that's a pattern. And I am going to do place, okay? And I'm going to do click and pull. All right, now, this is about the size of the pattern I want, but I really would like to be neat and cut it out of the background shape. So let's do that. Let's send it to the back first, send to back. There we go. Now I'm going to do a marquee over both of these. So essentially I'm selecting both. Another way to do it would be holding the shift key down, click, and then click on the middle one. Either or, you have to select both of them. I just think doing a marquee like this is the simplest way. All right, now let's cut it out. <clears throat> it's really easy. Object, clipping mask, make, and there you go. That easy. Pretty, pretty good, isn't it? Uh, a lot of people think that uh, Illustrator does not have any masking uh, to it, and here you go, uh, just like Photoshop. So this is going to be the label, at least one of them. Remember, I'm asking for three. All right, so I want to bring in my, my logo that I did from our project and let's do that right now okay file place and let's find that folder again the screenshots there uh, stag my label art okay and let's also place okay here it is once again now have an idea of how big you want it Generally, you should have your illustration, whatever it is, dominate whatever you're putting it on. So I'm going to make mine large. And there it is. I seem to have some little things here. I'm going to have to uh, take care of those, okay? Oh. Just some dirt or something on here. Okay, so I'm, I'm done with that. Okay, here we are. So this is... I, I might have to cut a little bit of the antlers off just because they're, they're so dang big. Okay, so there you go. All right, so I mean, there we go. We it, It's really great. Now, at this point, what I'd like to do is I don't usually use a lot of um, layers in Illustrator, but I am going to call this base. And then I'm going to do one that's called, you click on this, create new layer. I'm going to do one that's called top, T-O-P, top. And it's probably mostly going to be for my text, okay? So top, 
and bakes. That's about it. Remember, Adobe uh, Illustrator is not Photoshop. I really discourage you from getting crazy with, um, let's get rid of this, with a lot of layers. It's just not necessary. Okay? So, <clears throat> here we go. Um, I am going to call my uh, type of wine, and I when I'm, I'm going to be giving you uh, red wine labels. So you're going to be able to make your mock-up on those. If you want white wine, you're going to need to have to go online and get uh, find some templates for like white wine bottles. Okay. So if you if you only can find one, then you just make you know duplicate duplicate it so you have three in a row. Okay. So here we go. We got this going, and I'm going to call it Mind Gamers, and I'm just going to click up here. Triple click, and then I'm going to do caps lock, G A M E R S gamers, and that's the name of my wine. It's not the vineyard; it's just the name of it. Okay, so here's the center, and let's make it just character. Let's make it big. How about sixty? Myriad Pro. <clears throat> How about light condensed? Let's try light condensed. Okay, I, I don't know if I'm gonna stick with this, but it, it looks okay right now. The fill is over here. Let's click it and let's click on white there, okay. Now, what other colors do I have in here? I have some black, I have some white, I definitely have a lot of browns and tans, and then I have the background. But I wanna use some of these colors for the rest of my type. Here, let's click on the, the deer again, the buck, and I'm just gonna move him up here a little bit so I have some room to put other stuff. Whoop, cancel. It's like right on those points, which is kind of interesting. It's kind of like pointing to it. Maybe that's not a good idea. Let's do it over a little bit. Come on down. Okay, let's just leave it like this for the time being. Okay, so this will be gamers. Let's do some more type here. I'm going to do this down here. Let's just do it in black for now. Um, gamers. Um, How about Pinot Noir? That's a type of wine. I'm going to do it all caps again. P, uh, Pinot Noir. It's a little bit too big, so let's go up here to character. Reduce it. Let's see how that is. Okay. It could be bolder. And you know what? I I don't know if I should make this more horizontal. Let's let's go up there again. Character. Let's stay at Myriad Pro, but let's let's make it extended, not not condensed. Let's do bold extended. Bold semi-extended. How about bold extended? Condensed, condensed, semi-bold. Semi bold. I guess it just is uh, semi extended. So let's do bold semi extended. There we are. And I'm going to make it smaller. All right. I'm going to go over here to this eyedropper tool. I've selected Pinot Noir. I don't like it black. I want to look for another color here. 
Let's click here. Let's. No. I don't know why it's getting large. There we go. How about that color for now? Pinot Noir, and then I am going to do two more lines of type. And as I give it to you, as I give it to you in the uh, directions of the PowerPoint, let's do this. And let's go back to character. And I want to just do it semi-extended. It's way too big. Let's do it about 12 point. And uh, Pinot Noir, I'm going to say, uh, Cliff May Ran whoop, Rancho's Estates and the date. I'm going to put uh, 20, uh, how about 2020? Okay. And make that larger. This red box with the plus means uh, I've exceeded this the uh, the box size, so I have to pull it open. Now what I'm going to do is there's too much room in here, so I'm going to highlight both of them <coughs> and go up to character. And oh, this is in points. I must something, something's wrong here. Anyway. I am going to change the point size, so that's 12 point. Okay. And let's see, how about we make it bold? Kind of spacing out here, Myriad Pro. How about bold? There we go. Try to make sure you're in the middle. Put it, pull it the box to both ends. Make sure this is centered, and you will be centered. Okay. Ranch. I think I like everything except this. I think I want to make this white. Oh, let's go up here. White. And. I think I want to make this larger. And we're right in the rack there, so it's like, okay, what, is this going to look okay? This is kind of one of those things you could you can play with forever. Um, I am going to move this up again some more. I'm going to be able to move this so I can move this up a little bit more. And I think that's going to be it for now. Okay. So, now what am I going to do? Well, I am going to place this on the label now. So I'm going to do a save. I'll do... Uh, well, desktop, but where in the desktop? Let's do it into the wine label uh, demo. What's today? Today is the sun, September, what is that, 21st? Okay, demo. So I know what I'm doing. Okay, and then I'll do a save. Save and OK. All right. Now I want to open up my uh, the bottles. OK, so here, here where we are back on um, the canvas. And this is all our projects. And this is my label, ArtJJ 
uh, AI. So let's go to three bottle template red. Here we are. And let's open it up. And there it is. And we are in Photoshop. So let me put it on one of these. How about this one right here? Okay. So I am going to do this. I am going to put this on here. I am going to do group. And then I'm going to do command C. Let's see if this works. Uh, otherwise, I'm going to have to save it as, say, a JPEG. So let's just see if this works. Command V. Uh, let's do it as pixels, not a smart object. And... There it is. It worked. Okay. So again, we're in Photoshop, so I am just going to pull this, make this fit. That looks pretty good. You have to decide whether you want to see any side side of bottle here or not. This gets to be a very intuitive type thing of you know what looks better and where to place it on the bottom. Would you like to place it low? I've seen both. I'm going to do this high though. I just think it's going to look better high. Okay. And since we're on the subject here of placing, you could do a neck one too. You could put where it just says gamers or whatever the name of yours is. Okay. Now. Notice that the bottom bottle is in perspective, so I'm going to do this slightly in perspective. Okay, so let's click on this, go to Edit, Transform, and let's go to Distort. Now, what you can do is just slowly, slowly bring up one side, slowly, slowly bring up the other side, and pull this down just a little bit. You know what? That's not really working. So let's go edit, transform. Maybe it's, it's not perspective. Don't choose that. Uh, I think it might be skew. This is it. Do warp. Do it very slowly because you just need a little. Remember handles? All of the handles that we had in Adobe Illustrator, those of you who had in my class. Uh, well, actually, I'm teaching in this class. But, um, yeah, it never quite goes away. Now, the handles here, do you want to go down a little bit or up? I'm going to go up just a tiny bit. That I think that's I think the perspective here, and this is down. So I think you get a slight. See on the top here, you get a slight curve, and this you get a slight curve going the other way. So I think, and I'm gonna pull this out just a little bit. You gotta play with this. So don't just take your time. Take a deep breath of uh, air. Just take a deep breath and hold it and just work on it, get it right. Okay, I'm gonna hit enter, click off. This looks like it's a little high here, but you know what? Not bad, not bad. I'm gonna use my Photoshop skills. I'm gonna clip this off and this off. And there you have, that's one of them. Then you have one here and one here also, okay? So that is the end of our demo, thank you.